Hey class, welcome back. I realized they uh, forgot to use that initial is initial loading for actually. So when we refresh, we see that loading, and also when we revalidate, we see that loading again, which is something that I missed on the actual example that was on the SWR. Uh, let's fix that. So let's go to index.tsx, and it should be yeah. Instead of using is re is validating. So if we go down. Here, instead of using is validating to show loading, which would always be true when we are fetching either the first data or more data, we should use that thing that they had. So I'm going to create it again, which is uh, it's simply just, let's call it is initial loading again, initial loading. And that was if data is not defined, and if there's no error as well, that would be true. And it will always uh, only be true at the beginning. Let's remove mutate because we don't need it. And let's copy that and replace that here and save. And now if we refresh, we see it initially, but we if we load more stuff or if we, let's say, vote here and we revalidate, we don't see it again. We only see it uh, initially. So that's uh, that's fixed. One other thing that I wanted to fix is uh, here, we don't see the actual, uh, an example of this would be the React.js. Yeah, we don't see the actual image of the uh, sub here. I just forgot to replace the link in the postcard. So let's go to postcard and that would be, where is it? Actually, no, this is the vote section. So it would be, yeah, here. So where we have this uh, sub image, we're just using this uh, Gravatar placeholder. Let's replace this with sub dot image. Well, actually we're not destructuring sub. So let's destructure sub from the post that was given to us. And let's go back. So here, instead of sub name, we're going to say sub dot image image URL and that will give us the actual image of this sub so there we go so we get react and of course if it doesn't we're still getting that placeholder from the server one other little thing is that when we go to a subreddit okay there's a problem here uh, image URL of undefined yeah okay so that's another thing that I wanted to fix anyway so we don't want to show the actual sub name and the sub image in the uh, sub itself on the sub page itself because we know we are there so let's go back which is actually the same on the actual Reddit. So yeah, here, where we have the sub image and the sub name, we can wrap this, uh, we can check if we are in the sub page, and we can do that check by using, so we will know that we are in the sub page when the URL is slash r slash a sub name. And we can get that pattern from the router. So here, let's create a variable, we'll call it is in sub page equals router, oops, router dot path so there's path name and there's as path so as path gives you the actual path which will give in this case slash r slash funny but path name will give us the pattern which is uh it's like this let me put a comment oops and put a comment here this in this case will be slash r slash and it will give us slash sub like this so we're just going to compare it against that we're going to say if it equals uh slash r slash uh, sub between square brackets, then we know we are in this sub page because this postcard can be in the home page as well or uh, any other place we use this component. So if we are in that page, then don't show this image and the link as well. So where is it? Yeah, here. So these two links, we're going to wrap them with, uh, we're going to check if we are in the sub page. Actually, no, if we're not in the sub page, I'm going to say and, and then we're going to render these two links. So let's move them up here and Let's wrap them with a fragment because we need a single child inside of this expression and that should do the trick. So save and now, okay, there's a problem. Okay, there is no problem. <laughs> cool. So, oh, we still get this dot. So let's move this as well uh, to be in this conditional. So we're just going to move this up here, actually inside the fragment and the stylings will not apply to it anymore. So let's just copy them and give them uh, here as well so that they still apply. So save. And now, cool. So we get the postcard here it does not say the sub because we know we are in that sub page. And when we go to the home page, it's gonna so it's gonna show the sub and the sub image. And also, I noticed here when you vote in the uh, sub page, it doesn't revalidate. So let's uh, because we're not passing the revalidate inside this page uh, to the postcard. So let's go to the sub page and scroll down. So here where we fetch the sub, we have the revalidate, but we're just not passing it to the postcard. So here in the postcard, let's pass revalidate equals revalidate. And we already have that logic that takes care of revalidating once we vote. All right, cool. So that's fixed now. 
Okay, that's it for the small fixes that I wanted to make before we carry on. So one thing that I want to do now is because we're using Next.js and we want to leverage Next.js to create an app that is optimized for search engines, aka SEO, uh, we can add meta tags to our app. And let me show you. So let's go to reddit.com, the actual Reddit. And if we actually inspect the page, and any other website has this, by the way, if we go to the head, you see inside of here, we have some meta tags. And these meta tags are used by search engines to know uh, what these pages have and uh, what content they serve so that they will know how to index it and how to serve it when people search for stuff. And also the browser itself uses it for some other uh, little things in the browser. Mainly it's for search engines. So we can check meta tags in the, uh, in the elements like this. But the more efficient way that we can do is, let's go to the console, I'm going to clear the console. And here I'm going to say document.query selector uh, all to get uh, all the elements that are of type meta. Meta, and close that, run that. Now you see we have 21 meta tags on this page, on reddit.com. So if we expand this, and uh, let's see, for example, the first one. Okay, I don't know, they're here they're rendered as JavaScript objects. So I'm just gonna actually, uh, let's loop through them. So I'm gonna say for each, for each meta tag, I'm just gonna console log them. So console log the meta tag. Run that. Okay, I forgot to add a closing parenthesis. Run that. There we go. So these are all the meta tags on reddit.com. So you get things like uh, character set and viewport. These are set by default in Next.js. And we have stuff like this like the meta uh, description. So this has a description of what this page is. And another tag is the title of the page itself. So an example, let me show you. So if you go to Google and just Google Reddit, you're gonna see that this link here is Reddit and it has this title, which is the same as the title of the homepage. And it has this uh, description that is actually this description that is in the meta tag that is of name description. So you see, this is just a little bit of how these meta tags are used by search engines to represent your page. Now let's add these to our application. Let's go back to VS Code, go to underscore document.tsx. And here we can add some global meta tags that apply everywhere. So actually here we can add a title tag and we're gonna say that the title is Reddit. So in case uh, we create a page that does not have a title, it's gonna have that default title Reddit. So here, if you refresh, you're gonna say change, you're gonna see changes to Reddit and then it changes to everything funny. So by default, it's Reddit. And then if you have a, another title inside of a nested page that overrides it, it's gonna override the default value. So let's actually, let's add an icon as well. Let's use that Reddit uh, SVG icon as the icon of our app. So that's easy. We can just move this image, this Reddit SVG to the public folder and then copy it there. And then here in the document.tsx, so we can create a link, oops, a link tag with a type of icon. Actually, it doesn't give it the type like that. Okay, I'm just gonna tab it and say, okay, it's not a style sheet. So I'm just gonna remove everything. It's actually an icon, so rel equals icon. And we can give it a type as well. And this will be image slash, this is an SVG, so we're gonna say SVG plus XML. And then let's give it the href, which will tell it where to get it from, slash reddit, reddit.svg. Be careful here, if you just put reddit, it's always gonna be relative, but if you put slash, it's always gonna do the base URL and then find the icon. So if you save and refresh here, there we go, we get the icon and everywhere we go within the app, the icon will remain there. So let's add a description. So this will be like this. We can just copy the description from the actual Reddit and go to our, actually I can just copy the entire tag. So here, copy all of that. And I'm gonna put it in the index uh, TSX. So here inside the head, just paste that there. And actually I'm gonna put it in a variable. I'll show you why. So here I'll call this description and I'm just gonna declare it inside the component uh, here. I'm just gonna say const description equals that description. And because we need to use two other description meta tags, so where are we here? You can say meta, and we'll have a property, and this will be og colon title. And what OG is, is open graph, which is basically meta tags that are used by Facebook to index pages on Facebook and show some information about them. And then here content will be description. I'm just gonna duplicate this and this will be Twitter title and this is for Twitter. 
Actually, these should be description, not title, because uh, we need title as well. So I'm just going to duplicate this. Here we'll have title. Maybe I'll put title as well in another variable. So let me duplicate this, and this will be Twitter title. And let's put this in a title variable. So cut that, and then here say title. And uh, up here where we have that description, just right underneath it, say const title equals, and paste that in a string and save and now let's just copy i'm just going to copy this and paste that in our console just to check our meta tags there we go we get our descriptions and we get our title and our title is as you see uh, here as well is overriding the default title actually there's another default one in the document that i almost forgot which is the og site name so here let's say meta and property equals og colon site underscore name and here we'll say content equals reddit like that so there's another twitter one so twitter and this will be site but the content here should be the twitter handle of this site so if you have a twitter handle that is for your website you should put it here well we don't have one so i'm just gonna comment it out and leave it for uh, reference we're gonna have uh, to actually one more twitter one so this will be twitter card and this always has the content summary and the other will be actually another open graph one so og and this will be type and the type of our app is a website so website okay that's it for the document uh, tags let's close that let me close all of these actually let me check if i didn't forget anyone on the index okay let's check title description yeah actually let's do url let me check actually on Reddit, what do they have? Yeah, so we have this, we have this. Yeah, we have all of them except, uh, yeah, let's add the image and the URL. We can give the image in as a default one. Actually, let's add the image as a default one in document. So just duplicate this, OG image and the content, this will be dynamic. And actually let's add an environment variable so that our app will know what is the base URL. Cause uh, yeah, right now we have it, yeah, we have it hard coded here in our app TSX, which is not very good practice. So here in the client root, add a new file called .env.local. Okay, so here I'm actually going to add two variables and we're going to prefix them by saying public or is it next public? Let me check. Go to the next.js docs environment variables. And yeah, so we need to say next public underscore so that they will be accessible publicly because the other ones will just be accessible in server time. So we say next public and let's call this server base URL. So this will be our server base URL, which is in development is HTTP colon slash slash localhost 5000. Remove, let me remove the search. And then we're going to have the client base URL. Client base URL is just localhost 3000. Save that. And now we can access these. So actually, let's copy the server one in the apps TSX here where we have the base URL. When we give it to Axios, we could just say process dot env dot that server uh, base URL and then say plus so we can catenate slash API onto it. Save that. And now we can go here in the document where we have the OG image and we can say that this is process dot env dot and this will be public client base URL actually add backticks and then do dollar sign curly brace so we can concatenate on top of it slash reddit.svg okay save that and actually duplicate this and say twitter save that all right that's it i think that yeah that's it for the uh, meta tags for index and document let's add meta tags on uh, the actual post page so slash r slash sub identifier slug.tsx scroll down to our head component here so i'm actually going to copy some stuff yeah from the uh, from the index and paste them here so we're going to have the description and the description will be either the body of the post or the title of the post if the if it doesn't have a body so where are we so i'm going to create actually other state variables so we can store them because we need to actually calculate them or compute them once we fetch the post so here we'll say use state and this will be the title and it starts as an empty string and then we're going to add another one use state and this will be description so that's an empty string so we're going to have um, 
we don't have a uh, use effect call, so I'm going to create one. So here we'll say use effect. And so we're going to check for the post. So we're going to say if no post, and then return and actually run this every time the post changes, which is only just once so that we get the actual data. So here, the actually, the description should never, it can actually surpass, um, it can be any character length, but Google recommends that it has to be between 150 and 160 characters. So what we're going to do, actually, is create uh, a variable called disk, disk, because we already have description, I'll say disk equals uh, post, uh, either post or body. So if that's, we're going to do or, so if that's an empty string or null, we're going to get post or title. And then we're going to say disk equals uh, disk dot substring so that we will cut it and then just take a uh, the first part of it that is 160 characters. So we'll start at zero and cut to 158. And then we're going to actually concatenate onto it two dots. So an example of this, if we have a post that says, I don't know, hello world, and then we reached uh, 160 characters, we're going to do like this, so that you see it on Google kind of like this, meaning that it has more text, so click on this to read more. And now we're just going to say set description, this desk, and then let's set title, and the title will be post, post dot title, or if it doesn't, I say or, but it always has a title, so just keep it as a post title. And now that I do this, I just realized this is redundant. We could just use it as post title under there. So let's just remove actually this set title and this uh, title state variable. We don't need it. So yes, here, yeah, in the meta tags here, we're just going to say post question mark dot title. And here we have that description. So it's going to set it. So let's save. And now if we go back to our app, actually, let's restart our app because we changed environment variables. And for that, you need to restart it. So I'm just going to break out of the... Uh, npm command and run npm run dev again. Cool. Let's check now. Let's refresh. All right. Let's run that same uh, query selector call. Cool. So we get the image uh, URL that's concatenated for us. We get the description everywhere. And now if we go to an actual post and we rerun it, there we go. We get other ones that are related to this post. So we get the title and we get the description and so on. So these are the most important tags. Uh, there could be other tags that are relevant to specific scenarios. Uh, for that, you can go and uh, Google it. And I haven't done all the pages. I've just given you the how to do it. I'm not going to do all the pages because that will be extremely repetitive. Uh, you can do, for example, the uh, the subreddit page. If And you can also use this image as the image of this page and so on. You can get creative with this. I'm sure you can figure out something to do. All right, that's it for this one. Again, please do make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.